generations. And now, the power of two restores the one. We got a bidet! Damn it, I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. Uh, I don't even I don't even know your bro. Come on, man. Can't listen to this crap anymore. Two hours. Think it'll clear up soon? What am I, the traffic man? Supposed to have been at the pen an hour ago. I'm gonna get rid of What's your problem, man? Oh, relax. What's your fault? What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince! Justin's gonna make me! It's too hot for this shit. Vince! I'm making him hot now! Oh, shit! Come on, Vince. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The window. Hey, closed. Justin. That shit ain't See that right, guy man. in the beat-up truck? Ain't right. I'll bet he Shut lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You're telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. You were convicted, Danny. You gotta admit that much. Oh, come on, Vince. That don't mean I did it. My lawyer's gonna be hearing Tell about you what, this. Guys, he gonna I have your afraid to say it. Jobs when he I'm hears about really this. missing my girlfriend right now. I'm well, guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse swear, than that, you man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. Haven't heard her voice in months. She's really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know. 
I love her, man. Forget about her. Not worth holding on to that guilt. Wish I could, brother. Annie, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? How did the hell up in here? I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I thought up you took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. Telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit man, and tell them you didn't the know what you were up, doing? Or I'll set you up. I lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. You should have been a man about it. I can't believe I'm getting my moralistic shit kicked in by a couple of criminals. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, a uh, A pyramid scheme. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy! Ho oh, ho! When we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. I killed some assholes. Whoa. Damn. He's not lying. Are you? And how do you know? Like I said, I'm good at lying. And he's not. Ed serious. Damn, man. How'd they get you? Threw the gun in the trash. And? Some stupid dog knocked the can over the next day. Kid found it and turned it in. You, know you gotta this be is, kidding me. This is cool man, you're bad luck, Vince. Punishment, man. Bad luck, Vince! <laughs> That's not bad. You, man. What do you think, Shut Justin? The fuck up. What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? Fuck you. Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh, man. What in the hell is going on Brad back there? knock it off! Hey, get in there, man! Got? Sit down, goddammit! Does anyone know this guy? Nah, man. No idea. Hey, Damn it, Crabtree! Don't make me come back man. there now! He's gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Motherfucker! Vince, you're the tough guy here. We gotta get in there, right? I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid asshole. Help him, Danny! What's that? Speak up, boy. I can't Fucking hear you. chain's too short! Crabtree, I'm warning you one last time, goddammit! You gotta get in you there! Get yourself in there and wake that shit Come up, on, man! Come on, man! Come on, boy! Get back there! Okay, asshole. Let him go! Get in between them, goddammit! He's gonna kill that boy! I Knock him let out! Let him go, goddammit! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy! Answer me back that there! That guy's still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man! What the hell was that? He he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. He's still breathing. He's uh. Fucking fuck! You gotta call someone, man. What? I'm calling this in. Oh, don't, don't call it in yet. Just just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. You killed that guy. You gotta deal with it, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up. You hear me? Just shut your mouth. Okay, okay, calm down. Take it easy. I'll calm down when you quit running your fucking mouth. Quit waving that thing around before you get someone else killed. Oh, you gonna get smart with me now? Vince! It's okay. Just back off. We all need to take it down a notch. You really wanna pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. What the fuck? Did you see that? I saw it. 
Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. We're man. not going anywhere. Fuck that. Get this bus moving. Hey, driver. I said let's go, we're man. staying right here. We're safe inside the bus. Nothing's gonna. Holy oh, shit! Stop. Jesus. Oh my god. Hey. Hey, you need to call someone. You hear me? We need to. Did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus. What the hell, man? Back up, back up. Fuck! 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 He can't reach us. You sure about that? That ankle's gonna get him. Shit! What do you think, Vince? Come on! We gotta do something! We need to get off this bus. Right, man? Yeah! Where's the guard's gun? Yeah, yeah, the gun! Good thinking, Justin! Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath him. Oh, fuck me! Get the gun, man! Pick it up, Vince! Hurry up! Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! It, man. Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. We can maybe get out through the front of the bus if that cage door is unlocked and if we can get out of these chains. How are we gonna get out of here? <laughs> Won't budge. Where are the damn keys, man? They weren't on him. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, Hey, don't. buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot in you, man. You gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! I think you just pissed them off. Yeah. Yeah, save the shells. Whoa, whoa, watch it! Ain't gonna work! Keep shooting, Vince! Yeah! Damn! Shit, man! We'll never get past those bars! How the hell are we gonna get out of here? There's gotta be a way! Can't we just... shoot off the chains? No way! Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out! Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's foot? Well, what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun! We gotta do this! Back off! Vince! What the fuck? I'm sorry, man. Fuck you! Do it! Hurry! Justin's just gonna... Ah! Do it again! Come on, let's go! Wait. Michelle, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. 
thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this? What do you think that does to a kid? She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Beck is a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Pekka, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? As long as it doesn't distract from keeping this place safe, that's always the priority. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. What? Nothing. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it. Hey, Becca. Think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. <laughs> oh, you scared me! He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup.
Oh, God. do that again whoa what's your problem I do this all the time you don't get all pissed off I'm sorry it's it's just the watchdogs I guess they found a, a puppy a puppy yeah I guess it just got to me you know it was it was so little you don't think about babies anymore but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca... Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. It was so care to be there. Jesus. Largum. My God, Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know, and I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck this in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him, and they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. That is strange. That doesn't mean anything. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. I was right there with you when we jumped that woman and her boyfriend for their boat. That was wrong. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's got to be one or the other. We are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. Killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We can't take the risk. We kill him. There's gotta be another way. Tell me, what if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? 
Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus, there really is no other choice, is there? We can't keep him here, and we can't let him go. Let's mop them. There's even so a chance of him coming back, or telling folks that might try to hurt us. We can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch, but if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. And I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Is this about Becca? Just come see me. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. How come no one's watering these? Hey. Shell, it's Stephanie. What? Roman's got her locked up like some kind of animal. They said she was trying to escape. They actually used that word, escape. Boyd, calm down. I knew something like this was going to happen, Shell. I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. And now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No. No, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just don't do anything stupid. Hey, I heard about Stephanie. Why did she have to do that? We're safe here. There's no reason to want to leave. I'm sure she had her reasons. I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? I caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the 
incident, you've made this place feel, I don't know, oppressive? We've made it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You said that next time it'd have to be one of us. You went along with it last time. You weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. Now I need to know that you're with us. A hundred percent. Let's talk to her first, see if we can talk some sense into her. No. When she tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo, she knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine, and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to- Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Fine. Go ahead. No! Roman said he wants you to do it. I'll do it when it's my turn. This really sucks. That does. Shell, it's time. Everything okay? I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Sorry. Me too. Okay. 
Got one. A snake for a tongue. You are so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Are the claws lobster size or human size? Human size? Can make this easy on you. Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is it more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. Hey, you asked the question, Haas. Okay, how about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, so, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. You know, you're not perfect either, Mr. Lobster Hands. Maybe I should spend a minute listing off your flaws. See how you like it. Me? I ain't perfect? That's right. And you're older than dirt. Look, as long as you stay off that stuff, you can have all the flaws you want. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland. Thank you. Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? Dee! Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters. Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. What the hell was that? So, where'd you get the bag, Dee? Dee? Dee, did you hear me? Let's keep moving. I feel like I've been in a washing machine all day. I'd kill for a towel right now. Or a blow dryer. <laughs> yes, good lord, deliver us a blow dryer. Hey, Dee, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, Dee, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Did you steal it? What? Dee, Bonnie's right. If, if you stole that bag, we need to know. You don't gotta make no big deal out of it. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go, every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. Hush, but you, you are the one down. who made me now. stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're You're standing gonna draw every damn thing goddamn for miles around in this you keep on like this. middle I know of nowhere you did place. That on purpose. You listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening to you. To I can't believe Leland, that's enough! It's obvious you can't win this one, so why even bother trying? Bonnie, I appreciate you trying to help, but let me handle this, alright? Thank you, Bonnie. Finally, someone makes some damn sense around here.
Bonnie, darling, I'm I'm sorry we're Darling. D come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours too. D now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. It's always later. I, I refuse to get in the middle of this. Well, too bad. You already are. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Where are you? Anybody see anything? Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. for me. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a weapon. Bonnie. Me. Anybody see anything? I should it's never dark out here. trusted you. Just, just a junkie. Leland, <laughs> she, she did this to me. I, God, I'm so sorry. So, I can't. Oh God, God. I knew you fuck up again. Take him. I, I. No, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You bitch. Mary, you wanted him. Didn't thank you. Had the stones. Leland is just a friend. I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God. You fucking 
chunky. Spread out. It can't be far. E. D, e, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? B. Oh, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, D. Darling, what happened to you? Your face? Her face, Bonnie. I, I don't know. I, I found her like this. How did this happen? Why didn't you wait for me? Jeff, you see something? This way! Come on! She deserves a proper burial. We can't just leave her here in a fucking cornfield. We can't leave her like this. Help me move her. Bonnie, please. She's too heavy. We need to be running out of here. But we can't leave her like this. Leyland. Keep moving. We gotta be closing in. Okay. God, okay. But I don't... You got anything to say to her? I'm sorry, Dee. I really, truly am. She loved you, Bonnie. I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you see this him. way. We can't stay here forever. I think I saw something over here. We can't take her with us. If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. This is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us or- Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Gives a shit! Just- <laughs> Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man. Shoot! Dude, take- Get him, man! Are they there or not? Come on! Wyatt, talk words at me, man! I don't see anything. You sure? Those guys wouldn't just give so up. I don't see anything. Here, here, I'll turn off. Feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything, man. Oh, shit! I should watch out for cows. Cows! Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay, bad example, but you could still hit something, man. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please? This road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. 
God, how did that go so wrong? Is that some kind of dig at me? No, man. I'm just saying. It's like, I just, why didn't they say anything? I'm sure it was an accident. I'm not. I wish I was, but... Ah! Ow. <laughs> Look, Wyatt, all I know is those guys had me all jacked up, like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know? Then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. Sorry, man, I... Well, thanks for getting us out anyway. It's about time. I will punch your eyes. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? Not till we get out of this fog. Is that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Why is it that you never had a girlfriend again? <laughs> oh, right. God, there was more than one reason. See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her. And she told me that... She was five, I think. Her dad took her to the circus sideshow. They walked around for a while. Saw the chick with two heads. Saw a dude with lobster hands. Some kind of monkey human with a dick for a face. I don't know. She also said there was a little girl in there the size of an apple. But I called bullshit on that one. Point is, she saw there was this guy standing in there, buck naked, and singing this weird... Are you even listening to me? The guy peed on her dad. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. I, I, I don't know. It was too fast, man. Man, don't say that. You have to know. Dude, you have to. Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll, like, tell us one way or the other. That way, we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just... not. Man, don't roll it down broken. Can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. Think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? What's that way out in the road? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. Look. Wyatt. It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there! What about the guys in the truck? Man, fuck those guys! If that guy back there is alive, we have to help him, Wyatt. There ain't a lot of live dudes left these days. 
We can't just hang out here all night. Out and back in, that's all I'm talking about. Come on, man, this is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. <sighs> Fine, I'll go. Give me the gun. Dude, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the one who hit him. Should be me going. Then why did you ask which one of us should go? Oh, sorry. Next time I get into this exact crazy fucking situation, I'll figure out how I feel before I talk. Okay, well, shit, okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Fine. Okay, cool, good. This is good. We need to hurry up. You ready? Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Shit. All right, all right. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Scissors? Who fucking picked scissors? Looks like it's me. See anything out there? I can't see a goddamn thing. Eddie! You see something? Hurry up, man! Dude, leave me the fuck alone, alright? This is my speed. Eddie! What's happening? You should get back in the car! No fucking way, man! What if it was you? Here, in case we need to get out of here quick. Way to go, idiot! Hey, Wyatt. I ate paint when I was a kid. Die! Shut. where the hell do they go? This is the smallest hoopty in the world. Too dark to see. Why didn't he just leave them in the ignition? Come here, you little bastard! Got like 60 miles left, I think. 
ain't shit. Hey, you getting up? Good. Should probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't... What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? I'm not in a gang. It's fucking racist, man. Hey, now, I ain't no racist. I just call them like I see them. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she liked to party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. I don't want that shit. The shit? You don't know what you're talking about. I damn near died procuring this. I got half a mind to make you try it. You can't make me do anything. <laughs> okay, tough guy. We both know that ain't true, but okay. It'll do you some fucking good. You wanna tell me about where you come from at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. No, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. The argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. <sighs> all right. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They're all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. Leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the crew. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead! Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah! 
she was slamming before she was running, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, help! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Tell me, Russ. Jesus, Russ, calm down. Damn it. Did you load that? Bullets in the glove there. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Oh shit! Go! Get out! <sighs> Boss! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. I don't know, man. Fuck, we're screwed. You haven't been shot at in three months? Come on, kid, look at me. Russell, get your shit together. There is no getting out of this right now, okay? Okay. Now help me out here. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is and we can fucking get him. All right, yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! Shit! Push! Uh, uh, End of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously this time. I'm not fucking around. We won't make it. No way. Yes, we will. We cover each other. Toss the gun back and forth. If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you wanna go first, that's fine too. I'll cover you. You go first. Now shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun, and I'll cover you! Job. Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go! You crazy, man. Whatever. We got more work to do. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. 
motherfucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. All right. We're gonna be fucking quiet. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. See him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Oh, I sneak up. We'll just jump out and grab him. Your call. here you monsters whoa gramps i told you not to come back here think you could just leave your mask at home and now you're with this fucking spook first off watch the fucking racism this is my boy secondly i don't fucking know you we were just passing by like anyone else oh shit you came back to finish us off and take all our food you've lost your goddamn marbles she's dying and now she can see your face mask What's he talking about? Fuck if I know. He's crazy. Have you been here before? Russell, don't you start. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I seen. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on! Can we still be friends? No. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Round five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. Building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. I found him. Holy shit. Good job. Everything okay? So far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. We should probably split up into two parties. Got it. Hey! Don't you- Bits! Don't fucking move! 
Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because she says it's true doesn't mean it is. You should know about that. At least what I did was an accident. Hey, that's enough! I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Quiet. Look, we need people, plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Chell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were going to defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. Then stay here if you want. I'm not bringing anyone against their will. We only want people who want to be there. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean... Then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? If we wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I had a gun and snuck right up. Well, what's stopping you? Exactly. Nothing. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long, and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. What's it gonna be, guys? Just remember, if you stay here, there's not gonna be anyone else coming to find you. Not for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well? I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word.